Alrighty guys, welcome back to another special Big Cherry Retro React here on The Ankle. Yeah, it looks like a big cherry. <laughs> big! Big! Hush. Are you calling me big? No, it's not about me. So, today we are going to be doing Vlogmas Day 2 and 3 of 2019. Such a cataclysmic year for our girl. <laughs> I'm sitting here, I got myself my monster java energy i got a blunt already rolled we're ready for today guys grocery haul of course vlogmas day two 131,000 views 4.5 thousand thumbs up she was on a little streak with the thumbs up also this like disclaimer is stupid especially when you have to verify this when you're uploading a video anyways so i don't know why she would have to state it if it's already in the system as a video not intended for anyone under a certain age and you can even go into that and restrict it even more by like the actual age you want to set it to and whatnot so i don't know why she has to put this disclaimer out there but let's just dive right into this one guys because it's going to be a longer one this video is like almost 18 minutes and then the one after it is like 25 or something like that so let's crank them out shall we and i'm just gonna <laughs> get that sound level ready for that fucking intro song let's go hey guys so welcome to vlogmas day two hey amber today is december 1st you guys will be seeing this december 2nd which i'm sure you guys understand <laughs> i know some people vlog on december 1st and then upload it December 2nd, and that's the first Vlogmas. I don't, I don't understand that, but everyone does it differently. That's okay. So what we have on my lips today is Milani, which is actually a lip plumper, but my lips are so small that it's just not working. I do feel it. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> when it's a limp plumper, but it ain't plumping. This is in 13 Rosewood. I know a lot of people ask usually what's on my lips. I prefer matte, but I wanted to try something different. This is definitely not matte at all in the slightest, but we're just gonna go with it, go with the flow here. So I'm mad at myself. Um, as you guys know, I'm sick and day cool and night cool really work for me, but I forgot to take my cool last night. So I woke up feeling like an actual like trash can. Has anyone ever tried Theraflu, the nighttime tea? Only drink it if you are prepared to sleep for like 18 hours, cause that shit will knock you out. But let me tell you what, wake up feeling a whole lot better. So I'm about to take my day cool right now and I hope to feel better. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands a lot because I'm about to go public. So precaution, I don't. I hate thinking that I'm gonna get someone else sick. Like, I don't know, is it just me? Probably not. So we're actually about to go get some sushi or I'm gonna get some sushi. We're gonna hang out with some friends and then I have to do a little bit of grocery shopping because I have no more fresh broccoli, which you guys remember in my vlog yesterday. Like, I, this is so stupid. Like I used to go to frozen veggies all the time until I finally learned how to do steamed fresh broccoli. And now I can't get enough. I know it's so stupid, but it just adds so much volume to your meals and stuff like that. So I'm She really never knew how to just stick some microwave in a covered bowl with some water in the microwave for like three minutes and then it's fucking cooked really girl i feel like a lot you know what i'm going to give her a bit of leeway this time um i feel like a lot of people are afraid to cook because they think it's really hard or something it's not it really isn't even if you don't necessarily know what you're doing or like have the means to do something like say steaming broccoli say you don't have a steamer or like the whole setup that you would see like online just make do like you can literally put it in a tupperware container with a little bit of water put the lid on and then you have steamed broccoli like it, cooking's just so much easier than than people think um i guess i'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit super windy out there my hair is already super frizzy so this is um these aren't good ingredients to go together at all okay i'm actually kind of shocked it is not that cold out today <laughs> i was expecting it to be cold because yesterday it was like well, of course your greasy hair also keeps itself weighed down so freezing so i was actually oh my god is that a little baby spider nope nope just ain't doing it today jesus christ so we just got to the restaurant and it's so windy outside that our car kept doing like this situation where like it was going off the road it was actually kind of creepy um i thought because that would be a lot of fucking gale force winds to push that car to the side of the road because you got her who's 600 pounds becky who's probably pushing like 300 or so that's nearly a thousand pound car on top of like the thousands of pounds it already weighs jesus christ 
my weight is in the car. I thought that wouldn't happen, but it's happening. And it's yeah, I think it would anchor you right to the fucking road, grinding the metal right on the fucking pavement. Freaking me out, cause. <laughs> But it's kind of like freaking me out. I just hope like, you know, we're safe on the way home. Oh my god. Bro, what is with her and that stupid fucking song? California. Hey guys, I spoke. Knowledge is priceless. <laughs> that fucking fortune cookie is priceless because <laughs> how ironic. Too soon. It's now frigid outside. I should probably just start carrying around a jacket or like leave it in the car or something. My fault. Don't come for me. But I was like having a Marilyn Monroe moment because my dress is kind of like super loose. And it's like light feeling. Ew. And it's so windy. Ew. Girl, no one wants to see that shit. Besides, you know she was wearing leggings underneath whatever it is. So. <laughs> Coming like up. My skin didn't show because like I stopped it from happening, but it was um, kind of scary. Scary because it was showing off your cankles. But we're about to go to the grocery store. Like I said, I need some things. And when I was having my sushi, the bruh, every fucking day, this whole vlogmas is just going to be we're going to Kroger's, we're going to Walmart every fucking day, dude. Jesus Christ. I do grocery shopping once every week or every two weeks, depending on my mood. Like, it is not that serious, girl. I wrote California on the side of that sauce, which I was trying to show you in a little clip. Wow. I don't know you guys could have seen that. Um, in person. How incredible. Looks a lot better in person than it did in the little tiny clip, but yeah, pretty cool. So, my most favorite makeup wipes in the world, these Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing palettes. These actually do not break me out. They actually make my skin feel super, super soft. Hot cocoa and chill. Look how cute that is. Also really like that one. That one's really cute too. Leftovers are for quitters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, she knows about that. I, oh my god, these are adorable, but this one has to be my favorite for sure. Hello. What the fuck? What are you guys doing in my fridge? What? Girl, what are you doing putting us in there? No. The grocery haul That's where she puts us when we're in timeout. We've been bad guys. <laughs> Into the fridge. Outside of the fridge. Okay, that was cringy. Cringe land. Okay. <laughs> Let's do a grocery haul. Get this going. We'll see if I can actually. Amber, don't you know that you should kill the parts of you that cringe, not the parts that are cringy? <laughs> Succeed. We got some chicken. I needed more turkey sausage patties. Oh, you just needed them, huh, girly? Um, ground turkey. This is the 93% lean, 7% fat. I got a few of these. They're the orange chicken. Orange chicken, Lynn. I promise I'll stop doing oh that. Oh, my God. Good thing, like, the whole... She pretty much quit the whole Lynn jokes, because I still love to make them, but whenever she makes them, it just makes me want to fucking die. <laughs> what about me? It's a habit. Um, so I love the orange chicken from Cheesecake Factory, but also love it. Lean Cuisine form. Really good. And then... Girl, I'm sure you love it from anywhere. Let's be real. Like, it can't be that much different. I'm a fan of a good General's House tofu. I'll get that from anywhere. But like... I got a couple of the Lean Cuisine meatball and mashed potatoes. Those are my two favorite Lean Cuisines, if you guys are curious. I got some potatoes. And I got chicken broth, because I'm going to be making a soup. Oh, Or wonderful. trying to. I haven't made one in so long. But I don't even know if I know how anymore. We got spinach, makeup wipes, English muffins. The soup will come at the end of the week once she has to make sure these things don't go bad. I'm going to start having those for breakfast. I'm going to create a little English muffin moment. I hate filming right here because the lighting darkens my dark my dark circles, like even worse. Don't like it. I got a couple of these steam fresh. It's just brown rice. I mean, it's literally just brown rice. <laughs> like, there's no added ingredients in this. Brown rice and water. Got some sliced water chestnuts. I'm going to try to make some who knows what. <laughs> I also got some General Tso's stir fry sauce. Did anyone else's parents around Christmas time make, um, they would take bacon, wrap it around water chestnuts, and then like do like a butter brown sugar kind of like sauce and bake it in that? That shit was so freaking good. We'll see how that turns out, because I have no idea. And I also got baby corn on the hob for the stir fry. <laughs> I'm nervous, let's cross our fingers. Nervous about what, girl? Oh my God. She needs to fucking grow a pair. And of course, the fresh broccoli. I get them like this because it's already clean. I just cut off the stem part because I don't like the texture of it. And I got some baby cucumbers. You just gotta cook it for longer, girl. You can literally, so like when I buy broccoli, it's by like the bunch. So it still has the stock on it. You can slice that stock really thin 
and just throw it right in with the rest and then you have like double the amount of broccoli and it's really healthy for you like you're not wasting bro just cube it up and toss it in with the soup it'll be perfect and that's all i got um definitely got some broccoli for it she doesn't need much really and I'm sure she doesn't. She's been there every day this fucking week. She's probably like, well, what the hell else could I buy? Cut green beans, cans of those. So I'm gonna put away this mess. I have made a mess and I'll store these on the ground. <laughs> so I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. I mean, I never really understood like the nitpicking around like fresh canned or frozen vegetables. When it comes to our girl, I'm just glad she's fucking doing something. I prefer fresh vegetable fresh vegetables, but of course, like sometimes you have to go with canned or sometimes frozen is the best option. Like, I don't think it's wrong to say that like you shouldn't be using frozen or canned vegetables. Like, that's just so wasteful and so I don't know, because like humans survive for for literally hundreds of thousands of years off of like canned preserved goods and like frozen meats and stuff like that so like it's not bad you guys <laughs> Just put away the groceries and i've been like really bad on water today especially because i had sushi and i use a lot of soy sauce okay not a lot but <sighs> definitely enough to where i feel like i've had a little more sodium than usual today i do use the low sodium soy sauce but <sighs> ready you're not supposed to go yeah that's really gonna really gonna help huh girly cool i forgot Baby girl, come here, lovable. <laughs> She's like, no, you don't. Gretel, mama love you and all, but you can't be on the table. I'm like this. <laughs> She's like, what? How's she playing with the lid to my bottle? Baby girl. <laughs> Comment of the day. Okay, Becky was excited about doing a craft. I've never seen Becky even close to excited about anything. Her emotion level is flat. We have been getting a lot of comments about how Becky has been acting and looking in my vlogs. And I just want you guys to know that she might be sharing kind of what's going on. Again, it's her choice. Uh, there has been a lot of speculation and a lot of rumors as to what's going on with Becky. And it's just- Well, it's because you keep saying there's something going on with Becky, but out of respect for her, I'm not going to say anything. Then why are you even saying anything to begin with, girl? Because people were just running off to her channel being like, I heard something's going on. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Bro, it's so fucking annoying. Fair that these rumors are happening because people will start assuming them. Becky shouldn't have to share what's going on. They're only assuming because you're even sharing that something is wrong. Don't share something is wrong and people won't assume, you dipshit. But I know you guys can see a very big difference in her versus how she used to act. So I can understand why so many people are so confused with what's going on. But yeah. I don't think people are confused. I think people are more worried for Becky. Like out of all the characters, Becky is the one that people care about the most, it seems. Other than like Twinkie and the animals, but like when it comes to actual people. She was excited to do the craft. It's great seeing her moving more and eating better. I hope it continues. I hope it does too. Right now, I am wanting all- See, I hate how she hopes for the best for herself. Just wishful thinking again as usual. And look where it got her three years later. Candy, hot Cheetos. Oh my god, I haven't had candy in so long. It just sounds amazing. And hot Cheetos, the spiciness and the crunch. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about it before I go crazy. I have a weird taste bud, I guess. The f so, <laughs> yeah, um, I think I just have different taste buds. That's just like how it is. A lot of people look at my food, like, in the, and then in the comments, they say she has the palate of someone that grew up in a trailer park sorry if that's like offensive but it's true you know like she would down a whole box of hamburger helper and some fucking pizza rolls and call that girl dinner she wouldn't know a fine dinner or a fine course meal if it slapped her across the face i mean things about it but my food tastes good everyone who's ever tried things i've made girl i bet i bet it tastes so fucking delicious liked it um people in the comments just make me feel like i make gross food <laughs> you you do sorry amber but you do i don't like to yuck people's yum but that shit looked like a sloppy soggy fucking mess like literally twinkie just threw up on your plate i'm actually getting a lot of nice comments on here here's another love seeing you happy up and doing things dressed up with your hair and makeup done you look better than ever rooting for you i appreciate that so much i really really do i love seeing comments like this like it just makes me smile but i know comment of the day is meant to be you know for me to maybe clarify things and i know a lot of people don't like them if it's just a bunch of sweet things which for me i prefer it so i just wanted to let you guys know that i have been skipping over a bunch of comments because i know you guys probably wouldn't want to sit here through all the nice comments but i have been reading every single one and i appreciate them so much i love baked potatoes with just salsa what you made looks so much better that makes me really happy and i promise you it was so delicious i love baked potatoes with salsa as well and i was trying to find a different way to also get in veggies and protein and honestly it was delicious if she was losing weight you think really she really 
really don't believe that. As an FU to haters. Um, I have thought about it. I have thought about this several times, trust me on that one. But it's just, it's not worth it to me. I have set a goal for myself and I want to achieve that before I do a weight video. Because yeah, she wants to get below her heaviest weight. That's what the goal is. It's important to me and it's not always about proving people wrong or proving people right. Okay guys, so this is the last one. Every single one that I've just went through and I've gone through like 20 has been super sweet. This one says, loving this vlog, I'm here for her new outlook. Thank you so much, Mom on a Dime. I appreciate that so much. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my actual video and I'm going to read the first top comment, which is the most liked comment. I think that's how it works. Okay, so here we are. Okay. She wears her new dresses, does her makeup, cooks healthier dishes. Our girl's improving. Wow. I mean, how sad is it, though, like, where we are now? All this hope and all this, you know, good positivity for our girl, and it still didn't change a damn thing. I was expecting something, like, rude to be the first one, honestly. Because that's been my reality for so long. Girl, you know what the fucking top comment was. You stay up to date on all the comments on your videos. You know that it was a large amount of support for you waddling your big ass out to the fucking mailbox and back. Even Which, like, I'm not going to knock her for, like, doing it, but, like, how low is the bar on the fucking ground if her just walking to the mailbox is gaining all of this praise for her. Get one, keep this attitude, don't go back to old Amber. Oh my god, when she said she was crying because she could walk for nine minutes. Good job, Amber and Austin. <laughs> Sorry, I lost my card. <laughs> it honestly oh makes me god. happy. She seems so much more like a one confused. I'm confused. Um, I just don't even know, like, where all this positivity is coming from. Like, I, I don't, like, I wasn't expecting it, to be honest. I feel like a freaking hot mess. I wasn't gonna show myself. I usually end with comment of the day and I'm like <laughs> an absolute insane person. Um, I, I appreciate your guys' comments so much and I really do want to do a weigh-in, but it's like, I told myself, like, I, I want to be down a certain amount of weight because I want to show people that I'm serious and not just, like, weigh in and be like, oh, da, da, da. you guys know how I've been in the past, you know? I gain and lose the same, same 10 pounds, and I don't want to be doing that anymore because that's not going to save my life. That's not going to... Well, hon, that's right where we are now, so... Help with my health. And it's like, I have a very, very... <sighs> Pillow Mountain, I know a lot of people are going to say stuff about that, but that's whatever at this point. I have been thinking a lot of just, like, I'm afraid to fail. Like, I am so afraid of failing, and I have done my fair share of crying as of late because I no longer turn to food when I'm feeling such strong emotions. I am turning to actual tears and feeling my emotions instead of turning to food, and I've, I've been going at it for... I don't know, it's been about a month now, and it's just like, I didn't talk about it for the first couple of weeks because I did not want to trigger myself because sharing my weight loss on YouTube has never turned out good. But it's like now that I've been doing this for a month and I just feel so much better and in the right mind frame, although yes, I'm hot Cheetos, I'm bummed, but I'm not gonna do it. Um, now that I'm in the better mind frame, it's like, I do wanna talk about it, but I also don't wanna talk about it too much. I don't wanna overshare, but it's like, I also wanna share my journey for the people who have been following me and who have been wanting me to succeed. And it's like, I wanna be an inspiration to people. And just all these sweet comments, this is like, why I have such a big fear of failing. Because sometimes no matter how hard you try and no matter how hard you do, you can 100% relapse when you're a food addict. And I have done my fair share of binging in my life, you know? It's it's just scary. We're right back to where we were. You're doing so well, but you're used to doing so bad. It's scary, but it's also very exciting. And it, it does make me really emotional. And I have cried a lot recently because of it. Like these little things where it's like, I do weigh myself every day, it's a bad habit. And it's like, seeing the scale, go in the right direction like i'm not saying i'm down like this huge amount like i'm not down like 100 pounds obviously like hi <laughs> you guys would notice but it's like seeing the scale move in the right direction i don't has think been. we would notice 100 pounds amber to be real just amazing for me and it feels good because it's like i'm finally doing this <sighs> i'm gonna i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna stop ranting about this and talking about this but i just want to let you guys know like thank you so much for your guys' sweet comments like i'm just not used to it and i guess i'm just like overwhelmed with like joy and stuff like i just feel really grateful and it's like i just appreciate it a lot i really do so the crocodile tears. I do hope you guys enjoyed this damn vlogmas. Um, vlogmas is boring, but I'm gonna vlog I'm gonna be a vlogmas Lynn, because you know. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Oh lordy. Did we enjoy it, guys? Truly. Cause like I said, watching this as they came out, it was like, yeah, you could it was almost a palpable feeling. You could feel like the change in the air, like clockwork, it all just fucking crumbles away. I don't know where all this positivity is coming from. It's coming from you, Amber. You get out of the universe what you put into it. Exactly. She doesn't do so much trolling and stupid, arrogant shit, then, you know, she would probably get a lot more in return. That fridge scene was so cute. Oh, shut up. Keep it up, Amber. We're all rooting for you. Amber Lynn, take all this positivity you're receiving and use it as motivation. She won't and didn't.
We may not always be vocal, but some of us do support you, Amber. Proud of you. I mean, it's just a lot of positive stuff, which, like, good for her, I guess, but we all know where it led to, so, like, does it even matter? That's why I stopped wasting my fucking breath on her a while ago, guys, when it comes to being, like, supportive and hopeful for her own future. Like, why is it that us as her audience have to be hopeful for her to just save her own fucking life. Alrighty guys, so this is the next video, Vlogmas Day 3, decorating our Christmas tree. I mean, you know damn well Becky was the one that did it the whole time. 127,000 views, 2.9 thousand thumbs up, a lot less than last time, so let's see if there's any change in our girl, shall we? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. So that means it is December 2nd. You guys will be seeing this on December 3rd. I don't know why I would say that. I'm not in it to win it today. And Big bruise right there on the haunches. You guys have been enjoying Vlogmas so far. Not sure why, but it's a good, uh, it's a good pick me up. So I actually- Not sure why. Girl, uh, is this going to be her self-deprecating era? Lamp to help with, um, lighting right here. It's Eric and Ricky's lamp, and I'll put it back when I'm done. It usually goes in the living room. So we have our first. Christmas decoration up. Woo! That's a wreath. <laughs> to slide through the double doors. Oh, girl. Um, we... She's very much doing that movement still. We saw it in her last most recent video. Like, our girl is side shuffling her way through the world. Christmas stuff in the dining room. Uh, they brought it up from the basement, so we might be doing the tree tonight. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. But I'm about to have me some breakfast. So. I've never really had this before. I've had something relatable to it. Um, it's another one of my concoctions. Relatable. Oh, so, just bear with me. I'm gonna show you what it is. No judging, even though I know you will. <laughs> you guys, see those dishes? This sack right here. Wait, boop. I haven't done those yet. <laughs> I don't know why. Every time the sink gets filled, I always do those first. So first things first, we're gonna do a little English muffins. That's the first thing we need. Second thing is Good Lord. our turkey sausage. And you know damn well, guys, that she fucking clickbaited this entire view of her body in the video. Garlic and herb, the laughing cow, cheese bread, and cucumber. I'm sure you guys know exactly where I'm going with this, so... Unfortunately, Amber, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's do the damn thing. You're gonna want to warm up your turkey sausage however you want. Some people do it on the stove. I love my box like a savage. <laughs> So I just put mine on a plate and put it in the microwave for a minute and 11 seconds. You guys are on top of the microwave, so hopefully that sound doesn't bother you. So next thing, I'm going to cut up a cucumber. Use this little baby right here. So these are already pre-washed. Thank the Lord. So I'm going to cut off the ends. We're just going to cut these in slices. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to get an English muffin. Y'all are probably like, okay, this is another one of gross Lynn's recipes. We're going to cut this in half, obviously. Open it up. We're gonna take one of these. These are only 35 calories per one. Literally there for it. So it opens up super easily. Plop that on there. We have a little garbage sack starting. And you're just going to do this. Oh, I think Eric's back. Okay. Is that you, babe, or Eric? Oh. So we're just spreading it, like so. And then what I'm gonna do is, I mean, I could just use the same knife for the whole thing. Like, it's really not a big deal. We're gonna cut these. Oh, good job, Amber. So proud of you. Not wasting another knife. That's piping hot, but I prefer piping hot, so we're good on that regard. So we're just gonna lay them about. Honestly, seeing this now, I could have just had one sausage, but this is a serving, so I was like, oh, that's a serving, but really, I could have just had one. And then, yeah. <laughs> I definitely this looks so gross, guys. Honestly, like, what the fuck is she thinking? <laughs> oh, this is silly. I definitely only needed one because this looks like a mountain. Hello, mountain. Who? Like, oh my god, something. So, Jesus and then you just Christ. close it. Bam. A weird, overflowing breakfast. Emphasis on the weird. Yeah. Situation. Situation, Lynn. I'm so annoyed. I know. So the leftover these. I'm just gonna eat them. Y'all, I am so congested. Being sick is no joke. Okay. So, I also have my tapatio. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Okay, here we go. Can't forget the hot sauce for every fucking meal, huh? So, I actually love it. I love this. She really couldn't even be bothered to toast that English muffin at all. 
freshness from the turkey sausage the bread and then the freshness of the cucumber which also adds a crunch and then a little bit of cheese definitely gonna be different in this but don't knock it till you try it you know Store just had a well, I ain't gonna try it, so I'll keep knocking it. There's some foods in the world that you don't have to try to fucking know that it's not gonna be good. <laughs> How do you feel? Like a new woman. <laughs> She's so cute. Aw, babe, so I called. I have a doctor's appointment. Okay. Yay! Well, I have a doctor appointment. She's like, Aw, little Twinkie. I don't like that. So, yeah, I just called and got a doctor's appointment, which I'm pumped. It's actually with a new doctor because the one I've been seeing no longer works there. So, I'm a little nervous. Hey, Twinkle! Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Oh, she's wearing those really ugly fucking feather earrings from the other day. Hey, doctor. Hopefully, this one takes me a little bit more seriously than the last one did. That's all I gotta say. Sure, Amber. Sure. I'm sure it was the doctor that wasn't taking you seriously. I bet. <laughs> Twinkie Star! She's so freaking pumped, y'all. Oh, my God. Twinkie Star! Oh, my God! <laughs> I can't. Why do you always act like this after a shower? He's like, um, hold on, I need to take a breather. Oh, huh? <laughs> Get off the couch, baby. Not while you're wet, love. It's because you know how dogs smell when they're wet. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. It makes me so happy. Well, I mean, she shouldn't smell like that if she's clean. Like, a wet, clean dog smells a lot different than a dirty, clean dog. A dirty, clean dog smells like white people in the rain. Hi. Hi, little baby boy. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> He really likes closets. I just, I don't understand why. There's like a jacket closet. Well, we have games in there too. I'll show you. Um, oh, thank you, Amber. Please, yes, please show us. He always comes over here by this closet. Also, who painted your doors like that? That shit is so fucking ugly. <laughs> Sorry, but it is. I feel like there's something spooky in here. But we have like a ton of games. And then Eric and Ricky use it for their clothes, shoes, tons of shoes. And then we have another closet in the hallway. Oh, see, hey, right here, which has linen and stuff, but. He's obsessed. But she can't fit through that doorway, so we're not gonna bother. Why do you like closets, huh? Are you gonna tell me? <laughs> Is there a ghost in there? No, don't scrape on that, baby. Is there a ghost? <laughs> so, I'm making lunch. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I wing pretty much everything. As, yeah, as per usual. So. Because uh, God forbid if our girl looked up a recipe or something, you know? God forbid she put some effort into her weight loss. I have some seasonings in here and low sodium soy sauce. I'm gonna be adding some chicken that's already cooked and some general so stir fry sauce. This is actually leftover chicken, so perfect. Um, I love Chinese food, so I'm trying to make a healthier version of Chinese food, but we'll see. We'll see. So we have some brown rice. Here's the completed dish. I'm just gonna put it on top. I tried a bite, it's actually really good. I know you guys think I make really weird things, but Everything I make tastes good, I promise. Sure thing, girly, sure thing. Tastes good to you because, you know, you have, like I said, the palate of someone in a trailer park, and you'll eat just about anything, especially if there's no other food in the house. So I'm gonna have a little meal prep action with the rest of this. There we go. It looks so good. So I finished my... I always want to say dinner. Oh my god, it's because it's dark outside. I do fasting. I don't know if I told you guys where I fast for 16 hours and I eat within an eight hour um, slot. And I choose to eat more so. Yeah, but girl, you sleep for like 10 hours a day. Like. During the night. So I usually have my first meal, which is breakfast. I usually have that about 2 30. And then I'll have my second meal, lunch around. Which is when she wakes up. She doesn't wake up until the afternoon. Anywhere between, honestly, 5 to like 7 30. It just depends on how hungry I am. Today, I had. Hungry. Hungry. I was a little bit hungrier than usual, and I usually have my last meal at like the last second, but I'm allowed to eat um, 9 30, 10. It's easier for me. That's so not good for you, though, girly. I mean, I shouldn't talk because, like, I do that too. I will literally go all freaking day without eating, and then, like, an hour before I'm gonna go to bed, I decide to eat, and it's always a ton of food, and then. I feel gross, I go to bed, and I wake up feeling gross as well. That's just how I am. 
Although the other night I was really good, guys. I ate maybe like two or so hours, maybe three hours before I went to sleep. And I woke up feeling a lot better. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe. <laughs> to eat within such a small time frame. Um, there have been a couple times where I did one meal a day, only on Thanksgiving, actually. Um, I had two Thanksgivings, one with Becky's family and one with Eric and Ricky. And on both of those days, I did do one meal a day because obviously Thanksgiving food is high in calories and I didn't really want to, you know, like binge or go over the edge. So I was able to enjoy myself on Thanksgiving without breaking the scale. So even after Thanksgiving, both Thanksgivings, I still was able to lose some weight afterwards. So it makes me really happy because a lot of people gain weight during the holidays, especially like Thanksgiving, and that's normally me. So I'm very, you know, proud of myself, I will say. But um, yeah, it was really, really good. Love that for me. So tonight I'm probably just gonna have like a TV dinner. It's just works. It's just what works for me later at night. I don't want to be cooking super late at night. So it's just, it's just what works. You guys look at what is going on right now. Becky is hard at work. I'm gonna try helping her some. Honest. I have a fake tree also. I'll insert some images from when I had it up because obviously it's August now. I love my Christmas tree, you guys. Look at how pretty it is. <laughs> I'm sure theirs will be nice too, though. I like this tree at all. I feel like next year, I'm gonna have to buy the tree for this house. Um, It's just, it, this, it's very old. And, and she didn't do that, but. Holes in it, no matter how hard we try each year. Um, So we do have like a lot of ornaments to help. Well, yeah, you, got, you gotta buy filler and whatnot. <laughs> So we're gonna do the best we can. Do I still have a tree skirt, babe, or did we get rid of it? I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, hopefully. Um, all the ornaments for the most part are ones that Becky and I bought together. Most of the decorations, honestly, I brought from when I lived by myself and stuff. So I'm really excited. She's going at it. This is like so hard. So I'm gonna try helping her some and I'm pretty sure we're gonna decorate the tree tonight. Fingers crossed. So I was working on it and I think I know why there's so many holes. It's broken on some parts. Like it's supposed to stand up like this, but when I let go, it falls. And there's a lot more that is like that. Uh, I honestly kind of, would love a flocked tree that was real but i feel like it would make a really big mess <laughs> honestly but i'm trying i'm trying so we're going through all our ornaments and this is like the whole stuffer <laughs> i've had these for a long time um they definitely help not only make your tree beautiful oh my god this box is crazy but um okay i don't know what that is <laughs> but it really helps with holes in your tree if you have a holy tree like us hey holy night it's kind of suitable yeah we have a lot of just like random stuff hey does this one the tree Okay, so I'm just gonna go through all of them and lay them on the table so they're easier for us to maneuver when putting them on the tree. So I'm pretty sure this is the majority of our ornaments. Um, Becky likes it to where there's no like theme. She just likes random ornaments on the tree because I think that's how she grew up, which I'm okay with. Um, a lot of them are actually from her past, like this one, um, this one, and I know there's a few others. I just don't know where they are at the moment. Um, her mom actually made this one for her, which is super cute. Um, Becky actually surprised me with this one last year or the year before. I don't remember. Oh, that, that looks just like Twinkie too. <laughs> oh, is that more? Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. I, I love, I love going and buying. I mean, I just love buying shit in general, to be fair. But <clears throat> Christmas decoration shopping. Oh, it's so much fun. Same with like Halloween decorations. It's just so much fun, you guys. Like, I love getting into the spirit of things. You're missing some. Okay, I'm gonna go for this. I'll be back. So this one is so cute. I love this. Um, Becky's nephew actually made this for her when he was really young. <laughs> I love that. So we also have like two squirrels. Honestly, one of my favorites is this one. If, you know, I got to choose like a theme for a tree, it would be a lot like this type of vibe. Like, that's so pretty. I have my Ariel. <laughs> this one just makes me laugh, to be honest. Like, what? This one's mine. A lot of these ones over here are the ones that I picked out, like the really weird ones. Do I regret it? Not really. And like this, it would go perfect with that. Oh my god. And like this one, elephant. I love that vibe. So yeah, we just have so many. Look at this one. You can tell someone, like, truly took the time to make that. That's so cool. But, oh, here's another handmade one. I mean, most of these are handmade, but you know what I mean. And then, Becky's like, sister made this. I don't think it's an ornament, but isn't that cute? Love it. Y'all, I wish I was joking, but there's more ornaments. I'm not going to bore you with the details. Girl, my entire utilities closet is fucking filled with, I mean, it's filled with the 12-foot-tall Christmas tree. And all of the ornaments are in, like, multiple boxes. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Man, I wouldn't bore you with the details, but please look at these. <laughs> Obsessed. Oh, my God, that's such a cute ornament. We got this one last year. Oh, my Lord. She couldn't just find a longer fucking copyright-free song. But at least the boys are helping Becky, because we know Amber is. She's just like, ooh, yeah, that one would go good there. Eric, no, put that one there. Ricky, what the fuck? Like, put it over there. And she's just pointing, like, bingo arm, like, swinging in the wind. 
Oh, oh, are, she hopped up. She got up for a couple seconds. And there she goes, swapping back out. It's like they have to, <laughs> it's like tag teaming, you know, like, tag me in, Becky, tag me in, I'm ready. Very nice. Y'all need a top? There you go. All right, guys, it is finished. It looks really good okay comment of the day i feel like no matter what you do with a christmas tree like it could be the ugliest most random mismatched ornaments once it's all together with the lights and everything it looks good like every single time Samberlin, in ed recovery once you stop using food slash behaviors to cope it gets worse before it gets better you become stronger and there's a light at the end of the tunnel proud of you thank you so much sav strange i definitely agree with that um it's maybe more emotional i cry a little bit more now that I don't turn to food for like that comfort, but I'm totally okay with it because I feel so much better at the end of the night, not binging and not overeating. Countdown until her mysterious illness stops vlogmas. I really hope that doesn't happen. Um, I'm sorry it's so mysterious. Maybe one day in the near food future, I can talk about it. Damn, many are falling for her cycle, but let's just enjoy the slight improvement in content for what it's worth for now. I understand about the whole cycle thing. I've had several people send me like a diagram of it and it's very true. Like I gotta be honest, like I read that one time and I think it was like the first time I saw it, I was like, dang, <laughs> whoever made this is pretty accurate and must know me very well, um, according to my videos, but... <laughs> according to my videos, she had to throw that in there, so she's like, but you guys don't know me, you don't know the real me. This is just a facade I put on. is isn't part of the cycle, I'm really crossing my fingers and... But she always, yeah, she always, like, recognizes that the cycle is a thing, but whenever someone says okay well you're in this part of the cycle she's like no i'm not guys i'm not in the cycle the cycle is real but i'm not in it i'm doing as hard as i can to not make that happen the reason why you guys are seeing this part is because i have finally revealed and just like fun fact she was in the cycle <laughs> that i really am focusing on my weight i didn't tell you guys for a couple of weeks because i didn't want people to throw the cycle in my face but i can see why you guys are doing it now because you guys are like okay well now all of a sudden she's acting like this so i can understand where you're coming from you're losing weight and i'm so proud of you keep doing you and weigh in when you feel comfortable i struggle with my weight as well so i totally get it just know you have support thank you zephyria r i hope i pronounced your name right i, I really appreciate that and i'm definitely going to do a weigh in when i'm ready and like i keep saying um i do have a goal in mind when i want to do it so i'm just hoping that i can succeed in that goal and if i do i'm gonna like literally cry <laughs> like it's gonna literally be such like, a beautiful moment for me for sure opening the fridge seems like nikita dragon thing i like it a lot of people said that they thought <laughs> The fridge part was actually funny and like kind of cute instead of cringy which yeah i don't believe that who said that amber i don't think it's cringy but thank you guys for like going along with my you know weirdness because i'm actually very weird she has to be kind to get the numbers for that paycheck at the end of vlogmas used to root for her but i know better after years of her games chrissy s i appreciate your opinion i have no problem with your opinion everyone has one um i do want to say <laughs> that when i'm more controversial and when i am a little bit more how do I word that? Not so kind. I'm gonna say kind because that's what you use. I do get more views. And I think it's like the train wreck aspect. So me being kind and me changing my lifestyle has nothing to do with my videos. It has nothing to do with vlogmas. It has nothing to do with paychecks. I'm just in a good space. And it has a lot to do with the things I'm eating, the movement I'm doing, the weight loss, and the medication I'm on. And I'm just trying to make improvements every single day. Trust me, if our girl wanted to, really wanted to, she would just be trolling the entire vlogmas to get as much ad revenue. Because, I mean, it's been said countless times in the community, December is, like, the best month to make money on YouTube. So, makes sense that, you know, she doesn't really care, like, if she's nice or not. I mean, to be honest, when she's bitter and nasty is when she gets more views because more people click in to see it but i mean at this point our girl was making a lot of fucking money each month per video so and i mean you can have an opinion on me like i can't take that from you okay so this is the last one how are you always sick and still claim this has nothing to do with your weight i have a cold a very typical cold eric and becky just got over a cold and they gave it to me <laughs> which is okay i mean you live in a household full of people it's gonna happen um it definitely has nothing to do with my weight having a cold um a lot of people get colds everyone uh, does they're talking about your the reason why you had to go to the fucking er twice in like 24 hours amber so again nothing to do with my weight but if you think it has something to do with my weight i can't change your opinion but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye Cancer definitely had to do with your weight. Lymphedema definitely has to do with your weight. You falling in 
fucking tearing ligaments in your leg has to do with your weight. Like, there's a whole long list of other things, Amber. Destiny's gift, a whole Walmart aisle. Becky's gifts, memories. <laughs> <laughs> when I first saw this, I thought it was like a, uh, I thought they were making a reference to the song Memories <laughs> from Cats. <laughs> I love how AL just ignores Becky's clear despair, whether it's depression or sickness. Every time. She can't be bothered. When Amber says that it was a loveless relationship, she means it was loveless on her end. She never loved Becky. I'll be honest, I teach kindergarten and I'm going to have the kids make that little yarn cardboard situation. I think it's adorable. Way to go, Bex. Yarn cardboard situation. Uh, what, like the tree that her nephew made? It's awesome to see you this vibrant. I just hope Becky is okay. Whenever Amber was in a great mood, Becky was like dying on the inside. So I am totally amazed at the amount of weight Becky has lost. So proud of her. And I hope she's still doing well with that. Becky is so gentle with Twinkie and the dogs. You can tell she's a very caring person. And then there's Amber who throws kittens over her shoulders. Whenever I watch her videos, I always get prepared to hear Michael's commentary. <laughs> Especially during this vlog mess, because he was so, like, popular and popping at the time. Like, despite any negative opinions I've had of Becky, I feel for her. I don't like seeing anyone struggle like this. Whatever it is she's going through, I wish her healing the good and good health. Agreed. I mean, someone mentioned it in my comments that, like, obviously, you know, no one's perfect. And obviously, Becky has had her faults and done things that aren't agreeable. But at the same time, like, I have to recognize that Amber brings out the worst in everyone and other people bring out the worst in Amber, too. I think it was just a mixture of that. Like, I don't think Becky's actually a despicable person like Amber is. I think it's more so when you're around that for so long, it, it's got to rub off. And she had to blindly support whatever Amber was doing or else risk, you know, losing that money flow. Please walk around with Twinkie even when it's cold. Now that you can walk more, taking her for even just a 5 to 10 minute walk would be a majorly effective for you and her. I heard some speculation today that she's using pee pads for... Twinkies walks and if anything she probably just lets her out onto like her little terrace patio thing and there's a pee pad out there for her to go on because I really can't believe that Amber is walking out of her complex and around it multiple times a day for Twinkie. So that's about it for the comments that I want to read, guys. I will get this video edited and sent out for ya. I hope you guys enjoyed another set of retro reacts. Um, I think it's going to be pretty exciting now that we're into, like, Vlogmas and whatnot. Let me know if there's any, like, specific videos or anything you guys want to see in the comments. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.